I will now give the floor to the other stakeholders to make their general comments. Uh, the first on the list is the Asian, Asian Forum for Human Rights and Development. You have the floor. Mr. President, Forum Asia makes a statement in solidarity with its Cambodian members, the Cambodian Human Rights and Development Association, and the Cambodian League for the Promotion and Defense of Human Rights. While the government has accepted 171 recommendations, it has failed to respond early to 34 other recommendations pending acceptance including those relating to human rights defenders and freedom of a peaceful assembly. In relation to this, we reiterate our grave concern over the recent violent crackdown by security forces against public assemblies, including the use of live ammunition on at least three occasions, which resulted in at least six people killed and dozens injured. In addition, Kem Sofut, the 16-year-old boy, has disappeared since the January 2014 protests. The government has failed to launch credible investigation on any of these violations. Instead, it imposed an illegal ban on all public assemblies in January 2014 and convicted 25 workers and activists arbitrarily arrested at the time of the crackdowns. We strongly urge the government to accept and fully implement recommendations that call for an impartial investigation into cases of excessive use of force and killings during demonstrations. We remain concerned about the draft law on NGOs and associations. The last publicly available draft imposes significant restrictions on freedom of association, including burdensome registration requirements, the absence of administrative appeals in case of denial of registration, as well as a number of additional restrictions on foreign NGOs. The government's plan to move forward with draft laws on cybercrime and on trade unions will also place even tighter constraints on the freedom of expression, peaceful assembly, and association. Similarly, three draft laws laws on the judiciary threat and judicial independence. We strongly urge the government to shelve all draft laws that do not fully comply with international human rights norms and standards. Mr. Vice President, we urge the government to extend standing invitations to special procedures and immediately accept pending requests from eight special procedure mandate holders. We further call on the government to publicly set out a comprehensive, measurable and time-bound action plan for the implementation of the UPR recommendations in full cooperation and consultation with civil society. Thank you, Mr. President.